Hey everybody, we're back with the boats and today we're taking a look at creating waves and foam using Unreal Engine's Fluid Simulation Actor. First, we need to place a Fluid Sim Actor, which can be found by clicking All in the Content Browser and then by typing Fluid Sim in the search bar. The only thing we need to set in BP Fluid Sim for now is Water Body. So we can just select our Water Body there. Now open your boat actor and create a variable and call it fluid sim and of course variable type is BP fluid sim and expose it to editing with these flags here. Create a scene component in your boat and position it where you'd like the boat wake to originate. Add a begin play event in the boat actor, get validated fluid sim, and add a register dynamic force node. Then right click on dynamic fluid force to expand the pin. Set force radius to 128 and strength to 0.5. Drag your scene component and plug it into tracked component and force component. Click on the drop down menu for material override and search fluid underscore sim. If nothing shows up, click the gear shaped options button and select show plugin content, then select M fluid sim force boat component. Drag out from skeletal mesh setup and type make, press enter, then do it again for the map. For some reason it needs this empty input even though we're not using a skeletal mesh. We're done in the boat blueprint, finally click on your boat actor in level and set fluid sim variable to the fluid sim actor. Fluid sim is now functional. So this is the gist of how to get it going. Getting it to look nice and foam is a bit more. So select your water body and search water material in the details and press this browse to button to go to it. If this is a custom material like from one of my previous videos do nothing. If not copy and paste the original file into your content folder and then open the copy. In your water material find fluid simulation and within it the sample fluid simulation node. Double click it to open it and once again click the browse to button and then copy and paste it into your content folder. Rename it whatever you'd like. Now in your water material find sample fluid simulation again and replace it with your custom one. And I'm just using control click to drag these pins over to their new spots. Close the default sample fluid simulation and open your new one. Move down to foam switch and set this to default true. Next, move further down to foam calculation and copy these nodes. Distance to nearest surface, slash, divide, 32, saturate, multiply. And you can just stick these right here, and insert them like that. This is to mask out the foam material from the boat, just like we did with the water in a previous video. So now we can close this. And finally, for a foam to work, we need to reconfigure the fluid sim actor a little bit. Disable follow player as unfortunately, this performance feature doesn't seem to be compatible with foam. 
Even if I attach the fluid sim to the boat itself, this is what happens. So you're ultimately limited by performance with how large the water body can be with foam. So these are the settings that I've found to be a pretty good compromise. Set solver to shallow water, simulation world size up to 131,072, and resolution uh, anywhere from 2048 to 4096, depending on the performance goals you have. You can get away with higher resolution if you lower virtual FPS and set fixed step time to true. And hey, look at that, it's looking pretty good. One final note is, by using Fluid Sim, notice how the water level has gone down. This appears to be to make room for displacement, like waves and stuff. You may want to raise your pontoons to sink the boat lower, but personally I dislike this large discrepancy between the water line and the water material, so I'll create a material instance of our water material and set the water body to use that. Open it up and set fluid displacement multiplier to either 0 or very close to it. 0 0.25 seems to be acceptable. Now you can see there's much less uh, difference between the water line and the water. Of course I encourage everybody to continue to experiment with the settings. Um, and of course, so if you have a smaller water body than this, this is like the 131,000 just fills this water body. Try to roughly keep that ratio from world size to resolution. And finally, if you found this video helpful, check out my Unreal Engine assets. That's a mobile enhanced input camera asset and AI navigation jump links, so AI can jump from one point to another and physical material profiles for footsteps and impacts. As always, you'll find the links in the description. But of course, either way, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.